So this is plaster and um, we use a recycled jar and we're going to put the plaster when it becomes hard. Well, when we put it there and then we put it in the mountain and we're going to cover it in plaster so it becomes hard. So now um, we are going to put another layer of plaster because we didn't, we still haven't put um, the side, we did one side. And then we're going to cut out the hole here and put this jar inside and put all the materials inside so it can explode. And then we'll put some other materials, you know, like to make it look natural. And then uh, right now we're going to put another layer. We're just spreading it out, especially on my fingers. But um, we're going to put another layer. Um, we covered it in plastic. And we put some gravel from our garden. So it looks like an avalanche. And now we're just going to smoothen it a little bit. Because my hands are all dirty, so I'm just dipping it in water. So does it be so, so rough? because the paino is not really like that. And we're smoothing the parts that um, look like they've been made. So that's what we're doing now. And the next step is, um, next step is when uh, we're going to cut out this and put the jar. That's it. So hi. Uh, we just finished the edges, and apparently um, it dried out really quickly. So what we did is we crumbled it. So if you look here, we, we crumbled it into little pieces and made it look like it's like crumbly, like smashed rocks, for example. And uh, right now, the next step is to let it dry. And then we are going to take a little bit of this plaster off because... We were supposed to cut this hole off, as I already told you. Put this, put this in, and, and then we'll put the ingredients. And then we'll take a video of it. How it explodes. Bye. Hi, welcome back. Um, we actually almost finished the volcano, as you can see. But um, really tomorrow, because I'm exhausted, tomorrow maybe we'll paint it and cut out this hole and put it there and, you know, put the ingredients. But the really, the big next step is to wash my hands. Such a big step. We're still getting on, and we're going to leave a little bit of the white stuff here so it looks realistic like we did just like cover the whole thing because then it would just look like a painted model that was fake. So uh, we're trying to make it as realistic as we can, but after we paint, we're going to figure out how we're going to do Um, we are ju we just finished um, doing our volcano, and we put the eruption, the lava coming down mostly here, because there's lots of orange and reddish and yellowish. But um, yeah, the next really s the, the next step is to actually put the ingredients, but we're not going to do that yet because um, the wet paint is a little bit still wet, so if it goes down, the paint will come down with the ingredients. So we're not going to do that now, but we're going to let it dry for now. Yeah. Hi! Um, we are just going to put two scoop, uh, uh, two, um, two little scoops or spoons of whatever you want to call it, of um, white vinegar. Oh, no, sorry. Um, baking soda. 
and we're going to make yeah the we yogurt. put the baking soda inside and now we are going to put the vinegar one Oh, it's erupting! It's erupting! It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Run away for your life! It's gonna blow! It's gonna blow! Oh my goodness! Eruption! Oh, so lovely. So lovely. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that stuff. Look at that. So lovely. So lovely. Welcome back, and I'm going to tell you how your lava went out of your baby food jar. So, when baking soda and vinegar are mixed, the vinegar reacts with baking soda to form carbonic acid. The carbonic acid immediately breaks down into car carbon dioxide and water. And it is the carbon di dioxide that makes the bubbles and your foam seeing your lava. So, technically, Let's, let's, I'm just going to make an example. These guys have magical powers. And they, they are, he's telling him to make bubbles. So they're going to mix if you want. The food coloring is optional, but that's if you're very creative. Maybe I am, I have no idea. Um, so what he tells them is make bubbles. So they mix the ingredients together. Um, they make they mix the ingredients, and when he uses his powers, that's when the the volcano erupts, and then you'll see like thousands of people dying and running around. So yeah, you get the point, like me. Ah!